All right, everybody, the problem states, a hydrogen lamp emits several lines in the visible region of the spectrum. One of these lines has a wavelength of 6.56 times 10 to the negative five centimeters. What is the frequency of this radiation? So the problem gives us 6.56 times 10 to the negative five centimeters. So that is our wavelength. 6.56 times 10 to the negative 5 centimeters. And the question asks for the frequency. So we want the frequency. That's what we're going to solve for. So we're going to use this equation over here where the speed of light, which is C, is equal to wavelength times frequency. So we need C, which is the speed of light. That is a constant. It is 3.00 times 10 to the eighth, and that is meters per second. So we have wavelength, we have the speed of light, we can solve for frequency using those two. Let's manipulate our equation to solve for frequency. And to do that, we're going to divide both sides by wavelength. So divide by wavelength on both sides. And we do that so that wavelength cancels out on the right side and we'll be left with only frequency by itself. So if we flip the equation so that frequency is on the left, we'll have frequency equals speed of light divided by wavelength. So now we can plug in our values. So frequency equals speed of light. That is 3.00 times 10 to the eighth meters per second divided by wavelength. Now our wavelength is 6.56 times 10 to the negative five centimeters. We are dealing with meters in the speed of light. So because those units of length do not match up, they will not cancel out like we want them to. So we need to take our wavelength, which is again 6.56 times 10 to the negative five centimeters, and we wanna convert that by multiplying by a conversion factor. We wanna convert it into so many meters. So for our conversion factor, since we're starting with centimeters, we are going to have centimeters on the bottom. And because we want to convert to meters, meters will go on top. And now I just need the relationship between those two units. And one meter is 100 centimeters. So I will use that relationship. Centimeters is on the bottom, so 100 goes on the bottom, and meters is on top, so one meter goes on top. And our units of centimeters will cancel out and we'll be left with meters. So if we plug this into our calculator, you will do 6.56 times 10 to the negative five, and then we're going to multiply by the top of the conversion factor and divide by the bottom. Since the top is one, we can skip that step because it won't change the math. So let's just divide by the bottom, which is 100, hit equals, and in your calculator, you should have 6.56 times 10 to the negative seven and that is again in meters. So now we can use that wavelength in our formula. So 6.56 times 10 to the negative seven meters goes in the bottom for wavelength. So now we have everything to solve for frequency. Before we do the math, let's look at our units quick. So on top we have meters per second and on bottom we have meters. So meters is going to cancel out and that is going to leave us with only one over seconds or per second. Okay, another way to write that is seconds to the negative one power, essentially meaning that this is on the bottom of this fraction. And another way to write that is also Hertz, which is generally what we use to talk about frequency. So we're gonna use Hertz in our answer. So now we can do the math. 
We're taking the numerator and dividing by the denominator like any fraction, and we wanna make sure that everything on top and on bottom stays together. So we'll put in our calculator 3.00 times 10 to the eighth, and then dividing by everything on the bottom, making sure that all of this scientific notation stays together. So we're going to open parentheses 6.56 times 10 to the negative 7, and then close parentheses, hit equals, and your calculator should get 4.57317 times 10 to the 14th. Let's round that to three significant figures. So our frequency will be 4.57 times 10 to the 14th and our units are Hertz. Don't forget the times 10 to the 14th power and definitely make sure your power is to the 14th because if you have a different number, check your calculator, it could be that the order of operations was done differently. Okay, so final answer. For a hydrogen lamp emitting radiation with a wavelength of 6.56 times 10 to the negative five centimeters, the frequency will be 4.57 times 10 to the 14th hertz. All right, if you wanna see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.